What is going on guys? It's Campy here today, bringing you a few tips to keep in mind when playing alone on Tom Clancy's The Division. Now, an underrated sniper rifle that I believe that the game has is the Kovar SRS. It is a superior weapon, so once you guys grind it out and reach level 30, you should be you should be able to find one that's similar to this one, may vary a little bit in damage, and depending on what modifications you put on it, it'll help you a lot. But one thing that I like to keep in mind is that when playing alone, you don't want to be up in the enemy's face necessarily all the time. Now before we get into the Dark Zone gameplay guys, I just wanted to go over the attachments that I have here on the Kovart SRS sniper rifle. Uh, first off, I, we, as you can see here, we have the multicam urban camo, just to give it a little bit of visual effect. Moving on to the optic, we have the pro red dot sight. It increases the headshot damage by 7.5%, which is really important for taking out enemies very quickly. Now, as we move down to the extended mags, I have it here modified to give an extra 5 rounds in each clip, which is really big when um, you're using a semi-automatic sniper rifle, allowing you to get quite a few more kills with each magazine and increasing the amount of ammo that you have, obviously. Next with the grip, I just have a small red grip. It adds a little bit of horizontal stability, which sometimes I can notice with this gun, especially with the vertical stability. If they could, if you can keep that under control, you should be able to have a really good gun. But other than that, just adding a little bit of accuracy. Now to the muzzle brake. Um, this is really a personal preference for most of you guys. Um, you can add pretty much whatever you want to here. I go with this specific muzzle brake because it does give me a little bit more stability and it does reduce my threat, allowing me to get a couple kills before the rest of the enemies are alerted. Moving on to the Dark Zone gameplay here guys, as you can see I'm specifically focusing on headshots, trying to take them down as quickly as possible. For the majority of all level 30s in the Dark Zone, 3-4 to four headshots will get them down depending on if you've pulsed them or have an added damage increase from your skills that you have used. Now I am in a little bit of a sticky situation here and one final thought is don't forget to use the equipment that you guys have in your arsenal. Here I'm pinned down pretty well with the sky that has a turret out so in order to take care of him I just toss a grenade around the corner and it does the rest. But anyways this is going to do it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching and if you would please leave a like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.